That's a beautiful March day. I don't know if you can see this. We have had quite a day here on the farm. God is good. And we have favor. So there's this method of farming and gardening, if you would, called Back to Eden Gardening. And if you look right here, this is our garden plot. You'll notice that it's buried, you know, six to ten inches deep in wood chips. This creates a an actual composting effect that just pours nutrients into the soil. It does not lock the nitrogen nitrogen in, but in fact, it's super really is super good for the plants. So we're going to give it a try. A lot of work went into this. Tilled up the soil underneath it about six inches deep let it lay for a few days in the sun then our neighbor came and dropped his little tractor off and I was able to use it to scoop up all the wood chips and put them on there that was today everybody's exhausted look at this hey Molly hey girl you have a good day hmm yeah, there's old Max. He's all pooped out, the puppy. Hey, Max. So, anyways. So, Linda and I, where that big tree fell, back here, I'll take you back. It was huge. It's laying in the field and we're preparing everything for the new fencing that we have. Let me get over here. So we were working today. We took five truckloads to the top of this big tree out. You can see how long it is. It's huge. So we did all this today. Still got another truckload there. Getting everything ready for the uh, fencing we're gonna put up so we can keep the birds in. When I say birds, I mean turkeys and a bunch of them. We should have about 22, 23 when they all come out. Thank you, Bader. So we've been burning all the tops of the tree there. So this is where the big wood pile was. Lots of lots of construction going on, so it looks a mess right now, but still. So my other neighbor. It's got a big, probably $70,000 JCB with a backhoe came. And, hey, Petunia. That's Petunia. What's everybody doing? Uh, afternoon snack. Wood chips in the chicken run, too. There's not even an odor in here at all. It's completely clean. Love it. Here's all our little Rhode Island Reds in the finishing pan. Hey girls. This is for egg production. There's 25 of them there. So anyways, our neighbor came. And it's helping me clear land 
What a blessing. It looked just like that with the overgrown down there. And we're doing this. This will all be cleared up. And then there's a big PTO rototiller that he'll put behind his big tractor. And he'll turn all this and level it off. It'll be really pretty when we get done with it. Look how rich this soil is, Dad. Check that out. At any rate, so there's a view back from this direction. <laughs> Max, you follow me out. It's a happy little homestead. The blessing of the Lord is on us. Glory to God. Everybody's healthy and happy and doing good. Let me show you all the chicks. So these are Let me see if I can get this to do better. There you go. So that's, what, that's paddles. She's still too young to put out with the others. So we've got barred rocks. We've got um, australorps, black australorps. And there are Americanas here as well. Plus her. So there's um, 22 more there. So keep the heat lamp on them. Keep them happy. Hey, Max. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Come here, Max. Hey, buddy. Hey. He'll weigh about 100 pounds when he grows up. Here. So Chris has gone broody. She's near again at Turkey. She's sitting on three eggs there. Hey Chris. She's actually really sweet. It's okay. See if we got anything else down here below. Oh, look, more eggs. I think we got about 12 today. Hmm. Well, anyways, so we're just having fun here. Thought I'd try to load this up on YouTube so you could actually see a good video of what's going on. It's all good. Just trying to clean the place up, get organized, bring some old, bring some new life back to this old farm, and get it done. Praise the Lord. <laughs>